than four million dollars of taxpayer money will be used to help patrol the skies over Sydney next month to provide 24-hour protection for world leaders attending APEC. High-tech aircraft that will carry out the surveillance and tracking were today unveiled amid much fanfare. They're the new high-tech eyes of crime fighting, helping police on the ground with a bird's eye view of troublemakers. A motorbike rider tries to elude police, heading off road and through thick bush. All the while, the helicopter is keeping watch, directing ground crews with pinpoint accuracy, recording the pursuit as evidence. Just when the rider thought he was home and clear of the law, officers come knocking at the door. The thermal imaging cameras are now attached to all police helicopters, a multi-million dollar boost to law enforcement in time for APEC. Police released these pictures today, also announcing another 45 air crew trained especially for the World Leaders Conference. We wouldn't want something to happen to visitors that come for an event like this. A fleet of five helicopters and three jets will patrol the skies above Sydney, backed up by Army Black Hawk helicopters and F-A-18 fighter jets, enforcing a round-the-clock no-fly zone above Sydney. And if anyone does fly into a restricted zone, the police will be able to do some pretty close flying, getting to within 20 metres of aircraft to marshal them out of the zone. Where there, those breaches uh, do occur, we will be prosecuting those responsible for those breaches. The police are unapologetic for the impact of the potential aircraft noise all through the night. It's not something you can do in terms of a 12-hour shift. It is virtually a 24-hour requirement for the entire time uh, that our dignitaries are here. Evan Batten, 10 News. Immigration fly over Sydney during next month's APEC conference. Armed helicopters are part of a massive boost to the police air wing, given dozens more pilots, including an all-female crew. Our eyes in the sky will be ready for the worst when APEC's 21 world leaders arrive in Sydney next month. There is a great deal of potential for disruption, um, but there is also the, uh, the risks uh, to world leaders. 45 extra pilots, engineers and crew giving round-the-clock air coverage day and night. There is potential for someone to uh, create havoc during APEC from the air. A no-fly zone will be imposed to protect APEC conference venues. There'll be no tourist rides uh, around the city. The exclusion zone is 45 kilometres. Polair will have snipers on board, but the real firepower will come from defence. Blackhawk helicopters, a number of FA-18 Hornet fighter aircraft, a special operations task group. And a secret weapon, an all-woman crew guarding the skies over APEC. It's the first time since the Olympics these Cessna Citation jets will be used and they're incredibly versatile, as fast as any non-military aircraft and as slow as light aircraft and they can fly as close as 20 metres and they're so quiet, curfew rules don't apply. Apex security will cost $170 million. Marguerite McKinnon, 7 News. Prime Minister Howard as 21 world leaders gather for the APEC summit. That's because the skies over Sydney will be patrolled 24 hours a day for the duration of the gathering. It's meant training extra pilots and air crew to make sure the skies are well covered. Come APEC, Sydney will be a city in lockdown. And now the skies above a no-go zone. Meet the men and women of the police air wing who will enforce it. Offering the air support to the teams just watching the, um, the cars as they come through and just general security. 45 additional pilots and crew will fly a new fleet of five helicopters and three Cessna Citation jets. I've been involved with the aviation support branch for 13 years and this is by far and away the largest operation that I've been involved with. During APEC, every motorcade, every official function will be watched by choppers equipped with powerful cameras. There will be a 45 kilometre air exclusion zone over the city. It won't affect the big passenger jets, but if you're in a private plane and stray into the zone, expect company. If an aircraft does threaten the exclusion zone, these Cessna jets can fly as close as 20 metres to warn off the pilot. But if there's no response, the police can then call in the Air Force's FA-18 Hornet jets. No one wants to be drawn on whether those Air Force jets have authority to open fire. 
there may have to be, in that type of a scenario, other considerations. What those considerations will have to be is dependent upon the circumstances. Extra pilots, extra police on the ground. And of course there's the army. One and a half thousand soldiers for starters. For one week in September, Sydney is starting to look like the safest place on earth. Mark Burroughs, National 9 News. ...to comprehend the moronic behaviour of some people. Clearly frustrated, the police commissioner has proposed a radical solution. And you have to question whether, as in the case of the United States, whether the solution to this problem is in part uh, the compacting of vehicles into a cube dropped on the front lawn of their home. Maybe that's the message that they've got to understand. The government says it will seriously consider the idea. These idiots who value their cars more than they value life themselves uh, haven't got the message. In the past week, six cars have been confiscated by police, but later this year they'll be wheel clamped outside the homes of illegal street racers. There are strong laws, strong penalties and a strong police force out there to crack down on this behaviour. And police now have more eyes in the sky thanks to next month's APEC conference. Flight crews training for APEC over Sydney's west have helped police prosecute more than 170 people in the last six months. During the summit, there'll be around-the-clock surveillance over the city. It's the untoward events that uh, might involve world leaders that you want to see are avoided. An extra 45 aircrew have been trained by police to oversee security. The fleet of five helicopters will monitor motorcades and provide live pictures from onboard cameras back to the police operations centre. Three Cessna jets will enforce air exclusion zones around APEC sites and intercept aircraft breaching the airspace. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News, Sydney.